Alright, what is going on guys, and welcome back to the Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. At the end of last episode, we were continuing on this route towards Violet City, but uh, I did a little bit of off-screen training here, so let's check this out. I decided to train up Cheerio, got her to level 8. So, uh, Cheerio, mate, looking pretty damn good. We got Chatter and Will-O-Wisp. She learned Will-O-Wisp, which is kind of hilarious, but, uh... Not the best moveset here, so I'm hoping she learns something useful in the near future. And then we got Dan to level 8, along with Seahorse to level 8 as well. So, we're looking pretty powerful. I'm going to actually put uh, my cherries in front, just because it's kind of hilarious. You guys got to see this thing in action. Chatter actually kind of does some work, and we found a lady in, so check this out. Better destroy this motherfucker with some chatter. Yeah, that's right. Cheerio getting that quality experience. And uh, what's going on over here? I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Thanks. Thanks for the info, guy. Anyways, we're going to go over this way, and what the fuck, Lyra? You stalking me, bro? I knew it was you, Hayden. How did you get past me? Here is something neat for surprising me, Hayden. And we obtained the Versus Recorder. Well, alright. So, I remember back in the day when this game first came out in uh, Japan. I remember I had, like, a Japanese copy. And I wanted to do Wi-Fi battles, so obviously you needed the verse recorder, and uh, <laughs> you had to like play it to that point to get the verse recorder every time, and it was annoying whenever you started a new game, but yeah, anyways. We care about the traditional buildings around here, that's why even the Pokemon and Poke Center are painted a bit somberly to blend in. Cool, cool, what's happening over here, guy? Whoa, Shard de Berry, what? I trade Berry for a Shard, if you bring me some Shards, I'll give you three berries, yeah? Alright, well I don't got any, but alright. What's going on over here? What's up, lady? Hey. Don't, don't fucking run away from me. <laughs> there have been reports of ghost-type Pokemon appearing in Spout. Sprout Tower, they say normal-type Pokemon moves have no effect on them. You don't say. <laughs> so we're going to explore around. Uh, there's really not a whole lot in this town other than just like the Sprout Tower and stuff. Want to trade for my Yanma? Hey, no thanks. A Pokemon you get in trade grows quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. Cool. But yeah, like I was saying, there's literally a gym leader. There's a gym here, and then there's there's the Sprout Tower, I'm pretty sure, and that's about it. And then we have, it's like the trainer school. Yeah, Pokemon school. Earl will show you all there is to Pokemon. All right, Earl, I better be impressed with your teaching skills, guy. I'm taking notes of the teacher's lecture. I'd better copy the stuff on the blackboard, too. Some berries can restore a Pokemon's health. Many other items can be held by Pokemon. I'm sure it sure is tough taking notes. Kid, don't even complain. This is, a Pokemon class would be like the easiest thing ever. <laughs> I traded my best Pokemon to the guy beside me. Well, why would you go and do that? Huh? The Pokemon I just got is holding something. What? Hey, you. I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? No, this guy's trying to recruit me for his gang and shit, man. In the school. Who would have thought? The blackboard explains Pokemon status changes in battle. So you can just read about some stuff there. Other than that, really not anything in this place for me. I was kind of hoping there was going to be some battles, but, you know whatever. Over here we have the gym, which I don't think we can actually challenge it until we do the Sprout Tower stuff. Let's see. Yo, champ in the making, you must be here to challenge Faulkner, the gym leader. You are quite, you are quite welcome. Almost. The city has a tower called the Sprout Tower where trainers come to train themselves. Challenging Faulkner may be too difficult if you haven't gone through their training. Ha ha ha. This guy's laughing at me, like, doubting my skills. <laughs> Guy, I have a dragon and a fucking dinosaur on my team, so you cannot have your Pokemon out walking with you in some places, places like buildings, caves, where there are huge crowds, but all you have to do is put it in a Pokeball. Cool. Also, I forgot to mention that at the, at the end of the last episode, I did go and buy some potions from the Pokemart back in uh, the first town, so... I have like six potions, and I use pretty much all my money, so... Yeah, she used the names of all foods she really enjoys eating for the nickname she gives her Pokemon, I mean. What? I call my Pidgey Strawberry. <laughs> okay. A little weird, a little weird, but, you know, I'm not gonna judge. Anyways, up over here to the left, we're gonna save that for later, and um, I think down here we have a route where we can catch some Pokemon, although I only have like four Pokeballs on me, so I don't really want to go use an encounter and then not have enough balls to be able to catch it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably go to the Sprout Tower, get some money from battling trainers, and then come down here, catch a Pokemon, and it should be some fun stuff. So next order of business is pretty much, hey, what's going on? Falcon the fine trainer, he inherited his father's gym, and he has done a great job with it. Cool. Yeah, so let's go up over this way, cross this nifty little bridge, talk to this youngster. What's up, guy? Did you know that Pokegear allows you to put marks and memos on its map? I'd love to have one of those Pokegears, but my mom won't let me. Ha, you're too young, kid. Anyways, here we have the Sprout Tower. As the name implies, it's ordinarily full of bell sprouts, but since it's a randomized, randomized ROM, it's going to be full of just some random shit, so that should be cool. A bell sprout over 100 feet tall, people say that it became the middle pillar here. 
Yeah, I'm doubting it. <laughs> I'm doubting it. See the pillars shaking? People are training upstairs. Cool. Also, I can catch the first wild Pokemon I come across as well, so I gotta make sure I remember that shit. Only those who reach the top will receive a wonderful move. Alright, cool. So we'll go up the stairs here. And, um... We got a guy to battle. What's up, guy? At least I think he battles. Yep. What's up, Mr. Clean? <laughs> However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. I hope so. This thing seems kind of kind of sketchy and raggedy, but, you know, whatever. If these old people trust it, who am I to say? Anyways, all right. Technici Technician Thomas here has an Arbok at level 3. Cheerio, mate. Let's go ahead and willow this thing. And miss. Take a body slam. Okay. Cute charm infatuated it. Haha. -ha. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to chatter. Immobilized by love. That's right. Cheerio. Just making people fall in love with him. Her, sorry. I always fuck up with the genders. <laughs> Anyways, Toxic Croak now. I'm going to stay in and chatter, because damage. Ah, look at that one hit kill. Why are they only level 3 here? I was honestly expecting much higher levels at this point, but <laughs> apparently I'm mistaken. Like, level 3s though? Like, really? I don't... Okay. Alright, guy. You should probably do a little more training in your fucking Sprout Tower. Over down this way, we have a dragon scale. That's pretty, uh... Actually, I was gonna say, that's pretty, uh, pretty useless, but... Okay, so dragon scale, a, sca a thick and tough scale dragon-type Pokemon may be holding this item when caught. Okay, I was gonna say, what the fuck does... I thought that boosted dragon moves, I was gonna give it to Kingdra, but then again, Kingdra doesn't even have any dragon moves, and I'm just a failure. Anyways, we stand guard in this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. Cool. Cool, guy. You got three Pokemon, level three Starly. This is kind of bumming me out. Where's the higher level Pokemon at? Like, I shouldn't have even... <laughs> I shouldn't have even trained up Cheerio this much. Should have kept her level two. Ooh, learned Destiny Bonds. Okay, that's actually not very useful for a Nuzlocke, but still, cool move. Cool move. Anyways, okay, let's, let's see if we can find a damn wild Pokemon. Is there fucking Pokemon here? Are there not any Pokemon in this... in this level? Or like, or what? Because I want to catch something so I can have something lower level to use, honestly. What the fuck? Is there no wild Pokemon here? I don't... I thought there was. What the fuck? Oh, we found one. So the first encounter we can catch. What's it gonna be? It is a Mighty Anna at level 5. Even the wild Pokemon around here are higher levels than <laughs> what most people have. I'm gonna Will-O-Wisp. Don't have anything crazy to hit. Oh, fuck. It has Heat Wave. I was just gonna say, don't have any crazy fire move. Okay, that doesn't do a whole lot, though. So now, I, don't, I really don't want to get heat waved by uh, that thing again. So you know what, I'm going to switch into Seahorse, who has Wood Hammer. Or, Mighty Anna has Wood Hammer. That's fucking sweet. So I only have four Pokeballs. Should I use one now? I don't, I don't know if I want to... I probably should have paralyzed it rather than... You know what, fuck. I wonder if Fire Punch is going to kill it. I think it probably... It will. Or at least it'll bring it down to the point where the burn will kill it. So you know what? I'm going to throw a Pokeball at this motherfucker. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Yep, not even close. Going for barrage. Ouch. The fuck, bro? Should I just like Yeah, what the hell could I what could I do to this thing that wouldn't Wouldn't kill it? Oh, if I fucking false swipe on Dan, except I blew it because I I burned it. Fuck. What the hell should I do? I'm gonna switch into Dan here. Just to get another turn of that burn. Goes for the scary face. You know what? This is this is ridiculous. I only <laughs> only have three Pokeballs. Let's just see if it's gonna work. I, I fucked up initially by burning it. That was just a bad judgment on my end. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, we caught Mariana. Hail to the yeah! It chases down prey in a pack of around ten. They defeat foes with perfectly coordinated teamwork. All right, so let's think of a nickname to give this thing. What the hell should I name Mariana? Hmm. Alright, it is decided. <laughs> he shall be named Mighty Doge. Because, why the fuck not? Anyways, let's uh, let's take a look at this thing here. Impish Nature. Has Dry Skin ability. Reduces HP if it's high. Water restores HP. So I can switch into water moves on this thing. That's fucking amazing. It has Barrage, Scary Face, Heat Wave, and Wood Hammer. What the fuck does Barrage do? Round objects are hurled at the foe to strike two to five times in a row. Interesting, interesting. So I'm freaking burned, which is which is definitely a drag. Do I have any 
What, do these berries fucking... Okay, yeah, no, it makes user more friendly. Super effective attack. Fuck me, bro. All I have is potions. <laughs> I'm gonna have her run back down to the Poké Center. And heal up Mighty Doge real quick. Alright, so I ran back to the Pokemon Center, got Doge nice and healthy. Let's see how he's feeling. Okay, a couple dots. Not looking too happy. Sniffing at the floor. Okay, well, cool. Anyways, over here we have a Razor Fang. Fuck yeah. Is that the critical hit one? I don't... No, I think that's the flinch one. Razor Fang, item held by a Pokemon may cause the foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. That's pretty interesting. Let's actually... Let's give that to Doze, just because a Razor Fang seems like an appropriate item for that guy to, that guy to hold. So you know what? Why not? Go over this way and we got uh, some more Mr. Clean, Mr. Cleans to battle. Fucking Chrome Dome over here with that shiny ass head. <laughs> What's going on? We got three Pokemon. Entrepreneur Antoinette has a pile of swine. And it has slow start. Interesting, interesting. Let's hit it with a wood hammer. That is a dead pile of swine. So already getting one hit KOs. First battle. Fuck yeah, Doge. <laughs> and we go to level six. Next is a Cyndaquil. Let's switch here. I'm gonna go into Dan. Dig should do the trick. And it's always nice switching into Dan just because the Intimidate. Oh, this thing has Intimidate also. But I was gonna say, it's always just nice switching into this thing just because of the fact that they could potentially have a physical attack that could fuck me up, but the Intimidate makes it so I could probably live it. So Dig is gonna take out the Cyndaquil. Next is an Ivysaur. Um, you know what, Ivysaur? You know, I'm just gonna use Doge. I was gonna go into Cheerio, but... Doge could use the experience, that's for sure. Got that coverage on this motherfucker, too. Not too bad of moves. Anyways, continuing up here, we are close to the end. Alright, so we have an item. What is this? A berry juice. Not bad, not bad. So we gotta battle, I think, three guys, and then we have to battle, like, the leader dude that probably has, like, level sixes, so... Getting real scary. Getting real... <laughs> Real scary. This uh, entrepreneur Zoe here has one Pokemon. It is a loud read at level six. Not bad. Not bad. What should I do? Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna switch into Seahorse just because I have reversal. Oh, Dragon Dance, bruh. Okay, so I have my I have max HP. So okay, Dragon Dance Air Cutter, new meta right there for sure. <laughs> Doge gear level seven, and we have defeated Zoe. You suck, Zoe. And you have a girl's name. The Elder's TM lights even pitch black, even pitch black darkness. You don't say. I think actually I, I made the randomizer so all the TMs and HMs are all gonna be random. I'm pretty sure. So actually that's that might even that might fuck with me later down the later down the run here. I don't know. Anyways, Sunkern, I can heat wave yo ass. You are dead. And Cristiano has been defeated. Not bad. Not bad. So we got one more guy to battle, I think, and then and then the last guy. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. Oh, a whole lot. Especially my new buddy, Doge, here. I'm just gonna go with the Ponyta. Um, I don't really have anything to hit you, so you know what, Ponyta? I'm gonna switch into Dirty Dan. Oh, slam. Ouch, bruh. Crunch. Ouch. And Dig is gonna fuck you up. Level 7, too. That thing's a beast. Damn. As Doge grows to level 8, next is Bayleaf. Should I switch? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Let Heat Wave do its magic. Ooh, that actually didn't even kill it. You're gonna use Charge. Yeah. Make sure to charge up your Bayleaf. Probably a good plan. <laughs> As Mighty Doge goes to level 9 and wants to learn Dizzy Punch. <laughs> what? Okay, well, fuck Scary Face. I'm gonna get rid of Scary Face. Dizzy Punch. Interesting. Interesting. And up over this way, we have. Look who it is. It's our favorite red haired fuck. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Yeah, guy. <laughs> he calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. No match for Wiener. <laughs> sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. Well, you didn't win every time when uh, you battled me the first time, bro. You can use an escape rope like a coward and just flees the scene. That motherfucker. Anyways, oh, wild Pokemon, oh god. Dusknoir traces my dry skin. Holy shit. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Dun dun dun. 
All right, so the final elder here. Hopefully he doesn't have anything too scary. Fan Joe has a Nido King at level seven. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch into Dan and get an Intimidate, and then Dig should do the trick. Hopefully you don't have anything that can hit me with too much damage. No Ice Beam, please. Air Slash, okay. That's fine with me, bro. I'm gonna go for a... Oh, fuck, he has Cross Chop. Oh, Jesus. And he outsped me, too. No! No! Critical hit is gonna knock out Dan. Fuck. I don't think that would have killed. That critical hit fucked me, bro. Bruh, what the hell do I do now? I'm just gonna bring out Seahorse and Psybeam, I guess. Dude, fuck my life. Well, we lost our first Pokemon, boys. Dan, you were a, you were a great friend. I appreciate the uh, three episodes you lived. There's a cross chop, ain't gonna do shit. So one more Psybeam takes out the Neo King. All right. As Seahorse grows to level nine. Okay, what else do you got, old guy? Next, you got a Gloom. Okay, perfect. I can just Psybeam that shit all day, also. Oh, protect. Making the battle last a little longer. I like your style. Okay, so shot. Psybeam should knock this thing. Okay, no, knock it down to about half, at least. Iron Head, ouch. Not very effective, but does damage, because level 10 Gloom. Jesus, I should probably grind up a little bit more before the, uh... Before the gym leader. They go from 0 to 100 real quick. Like, a second ago, I was battling level 3s. Now I'm battling level 10s. Like, what the fuck? That escalated quickly. And Seahorse grows to level 10. Hell yeah. Next is Snorlax. Ooh. I'm gonna stay in, because I do have... Reversal? Although it's just so risky right now, because of the fact that I... He could have something that could fuck me up. That's the gamble. You just never know. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna hit Reversal. Let's see what happens here. Probably not gonna kill it. It's gonna do a lot of damage, though. Okay, not even half, actually. Goes for an Icicle Spear. Oh shit, we can live that. Just don't hit maximum times. Okay, hit three times. Perfect. Well, unfortunately, I have to Potion, so Reversal's not gonna do a whole lot. Icicle Spear again. You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna Reversal again. It's still a fighting move. It's still super effective. The more you lower my health, the more it hurts. And down goes the Snorlax. Seahorse gets a fuck ton of experience and grows to level 11 in the process once to learn withdrawal. Should give up on learning. Give up on withdrawal. Yeah, fuck that. Ain't nobody got time for that, and we have defeated Fan Zhou. So we got $1,200 for winning. Hmm, the way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Falconer. You should be able to make good, good use of this technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. Obtain TM70. Is that what that is? So we can use that for the dark cave, although TM70 sketch enables the user to permanently learn the move last, okay. oh shit that is actually really good, unfortunately though I'm not going to be able to I'm not going to be able to flash shit, but you know, that's that's cool, we got a Draco plate as well, not bad not bad, and do I really, is there no way out of here unless I escape rope? I think you're supposed to find an escape rope in, the, in, the, uh, in this place, but I don't freaking have one because the items are <laughs> randomized, so I gotta go down the old-fashioned way, all the way down. And we have to go also deposit our buddy Dan, which is unfortunate, died to a critical hit. It's bound to happen, but just still pretty shitty. One of my best Pokemon, Rampardos, I was looking forward to kicking ass with you. And I apologize to A-Drive. I let you down, bro. I let you down. Anyway, so we are done with Sprout Tower. Thank God, because that place is stupid. <laughs> Now let's go, okay, the Poké Center's down this way. So first things first, we give my buddy Dan a proper dip, a proper burial. We will go ahead and move Pokémon. So the one to the left, we will change the name. And this is going to be the Grave Box. And this is where I shall bury my dead Pokémon, so Grave. I'm going to go ahead and grab my party Pokemon, grab Rampardos. I'm sorry, buddy. First death on our hands. At least it, uh, at least I lasted this long without a death, though, so, you know, that's, that's kind of a win in my book, if you ask me. Anyways, guys, 
We're gonna heal up and we shall end the episode here. Next time we're gonna take on the gym leader and it shall be fun unless he has some type of weird legendary shenanigans, which I probably just jinxed it by saying that, but you know, whatever.